All right, this video is to show how to make a workspace diagram using the PBOT uh, traffic control base map. So the first step you're going to do is go to our website, which is tsup.info. That's tsup is in temporary street use permitting.info. And if you scroll down to the um, table of contents section under the picture, you want to pick the traffic control option. And when you click on that, it takes you to that section of our web page. This describes a little bit about the difference between a traffic control plan and a workspace diagram. In this video, we're just going to show how to make a workspace diagram. The main difference is the workspace diagram doesn't show all the traffic control signage. It purely shows the area of the right-of-way that you're going to close. We have a flowchart also on this website that shows you the difference between the two, and it walks you through which one you need for your particular scenario. But again, in this video, we're just going to focus on creating a workspace diagram. So what you want to do is open the PBOT base map, which is linked to here on our website. And that'll open up a separate window that has the base map on it. And what you want to do is navigate to your job location. And so you can do this either by searching for an address in the search box, or you can just uh, click and drag with the mouse and zoom to your location based on cross streets and where you are in the city. You want to zoom in close enough to where you can see some level of detail for the portion of right-of-way that you're going to be using. In this case, we're going to demonstrate a sidewalk closure, and so you just want to zoom in close enough to be able to determine where the sidewalk is. So the first step is you're going to take an image of this area of the map. And so to do that, you want to use your snipping tool. So you hit Shift, the Windows key, and the letter S, and that opens the snipping tool. And then you can just click and then drag a box over the section of the map that you're interested in. So here again, we're just using the sidewalk on the south side of the street here. So once we drag that, it basically saved that image to our clipboard. And so now we can switch over to Adobe Acrobat. And then you go to the File menu and Create, and then pick Create from Clipboard. And this will basically make a new PDF using that image that you snipped from the map as the background. And so now you can edit this to demonstrate where your workspace is on the map. To do this, you go to the Tool section, the Tool tab, and then you want to click on the Comment option down in the second row. And so now you have these drawing tools on your toolbar. And over on the far right, if you hover over the drawing tools and you click on it, you can select rectangle, and this will allow you to add a rectangle to the map. And after you've added it, you can adjust the shape that you need to. You ideally drag it over the area that you're going to be closing. Again, in this case, we're closing the sidewalk. If we were also reserving parking spaces, we would uh, edit that rectangle to cover the parking spaces. If we're closing a travel lane, we would just make it go further up into the street. So again, as you're shaping this rectangle, just make sure it accurately shows the portion of the right-of-way that you're going to be closing. And again, in this case, we're just talking about the sidewalk. So now that we've got that workspace indicated, the next step is to add the dimensions. And so this is just to make it clear the length and width of sidewalk that you're going to be closing. So we'll demonstrate how to um, show the length on here with arrows and text. And so again, it's that same drawing tools button and you select arrows. Then you can click and drag to add a couple arrows pointing in either direction. Then you can also add text to the map and then you just want to click where you want to add the text and start typing. And it will allow you to type in the length. So that is essentially it. The other couple of details that a workspace diagram um, should include would be street names. And so you just want to make sure that the street names came over from the map that you copied. If they didn't, you can always add text to indicate the street name in the same way that you added the dimension there for the length. You can also add a north arrow um, in the same way, just do the same arrow situation, um, and then the letter N for north. If you need to add more information to the map, you can also add a text box and type as much information as you need, um, more information about your closure or any notes that you think are uh, relevant. So the north arrow and the street names, these are all things that help uh, orient you and our traffic engineers when we're reviewing your closure. So any detail that you can add like that was very helpful. 
So once you've done this, you've uh, indicated your workspace on the section of base map, what you can do is save it as a PDF file, and you just go to File, Save As, just like you would in any other program. And you want to save it somewhere on your computer where you can find it later, because when you submit your permit application, you need to upload this file onto our website with the permit application. And so if you save it, you just want to save it um, on your desktop or somewhere where you'll be able to find it again and name it something that you'll remember. And that is uh, the basics for how to make a workspace diagram. Thank you for watching.